test, test, <clears throat> test, mm. test, test. Hey, how you doing? Glad to see you. Uh, I'm doing okay, as you can tell from my voice. I'm uh, a little under. I actually been sick all week. Been struggling uh, to talk, to go to work, to live, you know, whatever. Do my my daily activities. But guess what? I took the pen test plus a couple hours ago, and I failed. So uh, I'm not in the best moods. Um, so I'll put it this way. I, I failed certifi certification test before. This isn't the first test I failed. Let me just apologize for my voice if it's really hard to understand me or listen to me. Um, I'm gonna do the best I can. I wanna talk about how I failed or why I failed. Honestly, sickness could be a part of it. I'm not sure, probably. Um, but I just came back. Um, I'm slightly, oh no, I'm not slightly. I'm highly motivated to continue my journey. Um, definitely gonna take it again. I feel like, I feel like I was definitely prepared, but for whatever reason, I felt like most, not most, a lot of the questions on the test were things that I've never seen before. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you can probably relate to that in a certification test that you've taken before. Um, there were a lot of things I was expecting to see that was in the book, that was in material I studied, that was not there. And there was also a lot of things I've never seen before um, that was there, or things that I've seen before, but it was it was heavy. It was, for whatever reason, uh, this Pen Test Plus test that I took was heavy on things uh, or items that I thought weren't gonna be there. Um, so for instance, <coughs> told you I'm sick. Um, I real I didn't see any almost any uh, scripting languages. You know, is this Python? Is this Ruby? Is this PowerShell? I didn't see a lot of that stuff, which I really studied hard for on telling the different types. And uh, uh, there were some scripting things, but it was more some crazy things I've never seen. Asking me, at, you know, a question about. Um, what does this do or what is this script doing and you know I'm okay with that but it was it was heavy on that for some reason it was heavy on scripting specifics whereas you know material that I was studying said you're not going to be asked to write which obviously I didn't write you know you're not asked to write code but it, it, it all said you were just gonna need to identify the language so oh also there was so much um, questions about and I, I'm, I guess I'm looking for the right way to, to describe the type of question a question where it would say what is the best or what is the most you know things that aren't really quantitative or black and white it's more of a depending you know on this scenario in this situation what is the best way to mitigate or remediate and those questions are always really difficult because depending on your mindset, your experience, or what the, the, the question is asking for specifically, we all think differently and we all think about how to solve something in a different way. And those kinds of questions, this test was riddled with best, best way to do this or most or least. And, and all of those questions are not black and white. You know, There can be multiple right answers, but again, is asking for the greatest or the least or the best or the most. And that stuff is always confusing and frustrating. I think half the test, half this test was questions like that. And you know, you can always eliminate two off the back most of the time, but then you got the, you're down to those two questions or those two answers that depending on how you're, how you're thinking about it or one word here or another word there, they both can be right, and so, I don't know, I'm a little, a little frustrated on that. Again, apologize for my voice. Um, so, I failed the pen test plus. 
I also, you know, I failed the CEH my first time also, and I took, uh, when I failed the CEH the first time, I took it again in, uh, I think, two or three weeks, and I passed it. So I'm probably going to uh, take the, my retake soon, in another month or so. I guess I'm going to try to focus more on scripting, uh, specifically not identifying a language, but knowing how it works specifically. Um, I'm gonna read more on those concepts of best, least, or, or broaden my horizons on uh, material for the pen test plus. I did use that one book, maybe I'll get the uh, the other book. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the other book. I'm gonna buy the other book. I'm just gonna buy multiple books. You know, I never learned the hard way. When I failed the CEH the first time, I think I only had one CEH book. When I took it the second time, I got more material, so. I should have followed that same thinking pattern and got multiple books, but I just went with the one book. I thought, you know, from what I was studying with OSCP and what I've learned this past year, I should be fine. And I really felt confident. You know, I went in, I was confident, really thought I was going to nail it. <coughs> um, towards about halfway when I realized I'm either gonna I'm either gonna pass by the skin of my teeth or I'm gonna fail by the skin of my teeth. Um, it was towards halfway when I realized, okay, maybe I'm not doing so good on this or I'm not doing as hot as I thought I was gonna do. Um, I got a 7-Eleven out of 750. So I was 39, 39 points away from passing. Um, it's crazy. You know, I was doing a practice test. Practice test, I was getting 80s and 90s. You know, uh, the gloss, I was doing the, the flash cars on the book. I don't know, man. It's just one of those things. Maybe the, the test I got was just a much more difficult version. Um, I was really expecting a lot of, a lot of questions that I really know the answer to, so. It's one fail here, but you know, we all can't, uh, what am I trying to say? You fail to succeed, or you, the more fails lead to successes. So even though this is a fail for me, and I'm putting it out there and I'm letting you guys know, um, I will get it. Obviously I will get the OSCP eventually, even if I fail that one four or five times. Never give up, never surrender. Um, I'm with a, you know I'm I'm kind of motivated more because I failed before you know everyone fails you have to fail to learn how to win which is fine um, and so there it is uh, my first attempt pen test plus I failed it today I got a 7-Eleven. I needed 39 more points. The questions were bizarre. I've never seen them in my life. All I can do is keep going, take it again, study some more, continue with OSCP, which is really the main goal. Um, and just expand my horizons, continue to learn, and do what I gotta do. So I wanna thank you guys. Uh, appreciate you sticking with me. Subscribe and liking, share, do all that fun stuff. Hopefully next video I do, my voice is gonna be a thousand times better um, and I'll be healed. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I couldn't do a tool Tuesday this week. My, as you can see, my voice was shot. But since I took the OACP and I failed, I had to get back and I had to let you guys know. So here it is. Keep checking for me and I'll see you guys next time.